don't go too far now. Remember, the woods are dangerous at night. I'm not a baby anymore, Grandma. Plus, if I get into trouble, the golem will save me. Be careful! I remember a time before golems when we suffered under monsters far worse than zombies. My dad and I were luckier than most. The farm was out of the way, and we always had enough to eat. But the village below was another story. Their stores were always empty, and so were their hearts. Dad and I tried to feed them the best we could. Fresh from the field, come and get it. But the monsters always got there first. Harvest day, my favorite day. What have you got for us this month? This isn't yours. Ha! <laughs> That's funny, <laughs> you're, you're funny. You should leave us in peace. Oh? Well, seeing as we're an enlightened democratic society, let's put it up to a vote. But I'll warn you, if we go, there'll be no one to save you if a spider shows up. No one to chase off the zombies hungry for your flesh. <laughs> now, who wants us to leave? That's what I thought. Well, as always, we pillagers thank you for your contribution. <laughs> See you next month! We have to fight back. Why do you let them do this to you? We've been through so much war. We don't want any more deaths. But we're dying right now. Butcher's good with a knife. If we found him a sword, we could- I ain't risking my family to fight your battles. You don't even live here. But we're just up the cliff. Keep your eyes on your own business. When my dad got like this, it was hard to talk to him. So I asked mom for help. Mom, you gotta help us. Give dad a sign. Something. Tell us how to help the village. Mom's not there, sweetie. She's in a better place now. If we want to solve this, we gotta do it ourselves. What do you mean? I mean we need to show the pillagers what we're made of. It's the only way they'll take us seriously. No, no! You can't fight them! We don't have any weapons! We'll make do. You don't have any armor! How will you protect yourself? Ah. How's this for armor? The pillagers won't know what hit them! Dad, please don't go. If you leave, I'll be all alone. I'm not leaving. I'll be back. I promise. Well, at least take this for luck. I won't need it, but thank you. It's torture to relive that memory. Every time I kick myself for not chasing him or not making him stay. Uh, no, no, I can't show fear. Take this! <laughs> I did it! This isn't so hard. Wait till the pillagers get a taste of my blade. <laughs> oh, speaking of which... The villagers really are a sorry lot. Maybe we put them out of their misery. Break down their houses for lumber? We could use a new barracks. My bum's sore from sleeping on all this gravel. No, no, no. A hungry villager is better than a dead one. If they're hungry, they'll work for you. They'll obey you. Simple economics, really. You're so smart, Chief. You definitely deserve 90% of everything we steal. It's all that hard brain work I do. 
<laughs> For the village! <laughs> Look who's here! Dinner wouldn't be complete without the entertainment! <laughs> Such a shame! You really were a great farmer. And now, a toast to stupid villagers. Guess with Farmer out of the picture, we'll have to take over his crops. Oh well, vertical integration's on the range these days. To our new farm! I promised myself, by the time I woke, he would be back. But, of course, I was alone. I decided if Dad wasn't going to come home on his own, I'd bring him back myself. Psst! Dad? Dad! Right away, I knew it happened. At least this way, they could be together. Gollum's gifts are many, but we wouldn't have them without my dad's courage, my mom's armor, and my love. Wow! Gollums are awesome! Hmm. I want to thank him. Can, can he understand me? He's forgotten much of who he was, but I bet he'll remember this. <laughs> <laughs> 